Hey guys, it's Rob from Playoffers. We are back with Gundam Battle Operation Extra. And we are going to, uh, today, we are going to uh, uh, play with my level 3 goof because I do really well with my level 3 goof typically because it's, I actually have gotten the most kills in a couple of rounds with it and, and top scorer, which I think is what let my Zagaki and Proto Gundam finally drop. So, it dangerously is telling me about another bonus item besides the three energy that we're uh, given out, so looking forward to hearing about that. Um, but, yeah, level three goof is great. And, yeah, by the way, if I haven't mentioned it before, I did switch to Mobile Suit Control Type C, which puts the boost button at L1 and jump to X. And I recommend it highly. It makes you much more maneuverable because you can steer with the right stick and and boost at the same time. And it really does help. Uh, th th thank you again to uh, Osiris Cry, who found out about it from Lord Antonius' Gundam Battle Operation chat room. Um, really great information has helped me tremendously so give it a shot you know if you if you have an alt account uh there's the training mode you can use it doesn't expend any energy go into that or make a new account and play from there play for free a couple of times get the hang of the uh, the changed controls and I've gotten to the point where I, most of the time, I don't accidentally jump when I mean to dodge. Most of the time. I forget who I first saw do that, but really handy for getting over to this checkpoint quickly. I put the goof in, I think it's the Zaku 1 sniper type colors, or possibly the Zaku tank. But I just liked how it looks. I experimented with a bunch of different things. I I tend to uh, take a turn for the garish when I am designing my own mobile suit color schemes. I, what can I say? I like super robots. Mazinger Z, Get a Robo, Gurren Lagann, that kind of thing. And they are nothing if not ostentatious. So I, I do like the bright colors. But not always the most suitable thing for playing gun. So... Not sure where everybody went, but I think I can get up on this guy. Oh, he's a sniper too, or at least a support type, so... And that's good, because whoever is up here... Oops, he turned! Let's see if I can not get shot, that would be great. Oops, he tackled me. Yeah, this group is on the ball. Now that I've talked about how awesome I do with this goof, I am about to bomb with it hard, so... But that is the law of the Bat and Warthog, what can I say? Axe Cop. If you've never read Axe Cop, Axe Cop is fun. I'm really recommending a lot of things this week. Wow, but... But yeah, if you, if you haven't heard of it by now, Axe Cop is a webcomic um, drawn by a comic artist and written by his kid brother. I think he's seven or eight now. He was five when they started. And it has the kind of logic only a five-year-old can come up with, so it's fun. And fun is a very important quality in comics, as far as I'm concerned. So. Anyway, there's this game Gundam Battle Operation. I should probably be talking about it. Um, this group seems to be pretty solid. They're hanging together pretty well. So I, I can't, you know, can't fault them. It's a good tactic, a good way to stay alive. I'm going to stay and cover this guy, because if somebody drops in unexpectedly, like that, I want to be able to shoot him for it. There we go. Got him. So, yeah, got him. So you take the point, and I will guard you. If you do it fast enough, nobody else will be able to drop in. I'm watching. We got it. You're alive. We're good to go. Speaking of ostentatious, nice goof. Now let's go back up this tank. 
Uh, ah, it's Dangerous Lee! I forgot he was in his Zaku tank, so let's see if, I, if we can make some progress here. Let's see, that is some kind of ground type. Not sure which one, but I recognize the shield. I think it's an easy aid. And there's a Proto Gundam on my nose. That's not good either, so. And my shield is shot. I'm not yet, but let's get up on that proto gun if we can. Because he's gonna take dangerous me out if I don't. He's getting back up. Okay. Sorry, man. Yeah, this team is sticking together tremendously well. This, this group is dangerous. They are really on the ball. See this? They're, that's at least five out of six of them together, if not all six. And there's only two of us at present because one of the others of us got blown up. I think I got a good slash in on the Proto Gundam at least, and yeah, they killed all of us that were left there. So, yeah. But we have planted a bomb. It's going to go off. I don't think it's going to even up the odds, but at least we get the points for the bomb. I really shouldn't mention when I do well with a mobile suit, because then I won't. But hi, Proto Gundam! Bye, Proto Gundam! Okay, your melee support is gone. Let's see who I can get it taken out here. Okay. Yeah, see, he's smart enough not to use melee after attack. Oh, damn him. So. And the gym is down. Sorry. Let me not get in dangerous Lee's line of fire. Let's see if I can take out that gym cannon before it does us too bad. We're surrounded. We're being attacked. Yeah, they, they coordinate beautifully. This is... Got an assist on somebody, probably that cannon, but... And I am out in the middle of enemy lines again, and everybody is coordinated, so I'm a dead man. So... Evade! I can't, I can't dodge them all forever. But I can hopefully take some people out before I go. God, I can't even see what's happening. Yeah. Sometimes you just hit a good group, and... I'd rather uh, choose to acknowledge that than get too frustrated, because our group is not bad. We're doing pretty well. I'm actually the worst thing here, because I keep hitting our people. And when I pop in, I'm going to hit sorry while I have a chance, because... I'm stepping all over everybody's toes here, and apologies to Dangerous Lee and everyone else who was in this round. But, you know, we're, we're a decent group, and these guys are pros. I think they just took out Dangerous Lee. They did. And I'm next. I got around the corner, so I've got a brief reprieve, but here they come. Proto gun them at that. If I keep moving, I might be able to take out that Gundam again. Got the Proto Gundam again! So... And... Let's see if I can get in here and take out somebody else. Hi! I got some hits in at least, so... Let's go for that cannon. It's away from the rest of the group. I might have a shot. Or I'll get surrounded and killed, which, let's face it, what's more likely? Yep, I'm dead. Tackle! Yeah, dead before I even started the tackle. There is a very brief frame of invulnerability with the tackle, as I understand it. That was not it, obviously, but yeah. So, 
Yeah, my 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 respect to the people in this group because that was that was a rough round for us, but they were playing just gloriously. That that was some. That's the kind of tactics I was running into like the first three days I used my free. Every every federation group I ran into was like that, sticking together, taking taking out the melee people ridiculously efficiently. So, yeah, but that that was that was a rough one, but it was not. Uh, those those guys were just good. Somehow, I actually had the highest score for the round, I guess, because prototype guns are worth a lot, but, yeah. I was not even in spitting distance of the most points overall, so. Like I said, those guys are just good. So, hopefully by... Well, since this is Friday, hopefully by tomorrow I will have the Zagak E to show off. We'll, uh, I'm lacking points now, but hopefully by next week, less so. Okay, Zaku 1 Sniper Type, level 4. Gym Ground Weapons Rack version, level 4. And more Bronze Chip. Eventually I'll finish these. To get the bonus mobile suit drops, you have to have, uh... You have to have uh, cleared 100 mobile suits. I'm up to like 65, 66, but it's going to be a while. It really is. But that is going to do it for now. I will see you guys tomorrow. And until then, take care. Later.